All right, everyone, welcome back. Appreciate everybody being here today. Um, this is a video I've been wanting to do for a while. It is the most feared rugby team in the world. The New Zealand All Blacks uh, are brutal freaks of nature. I've been wanting to dip into rugby for a while now, and I just I haven't gotten around to it. And then football season rolled around, and of course I sat down and watched all the football and and uh, Super Bowl's gonna come up. So you know, anyway, uh, we dipped into a little bit of your football or soccer that we call it with uh, Lionel Messi. And that was a very interesting video, very fun to watch. So now I wanted to see what rugby is all about and see if it's something I can maybe, you know, dip my toes in and and uh, and see if it's something I'd like to watch. So I know that there's going to be comparisons also about, you know, which one's more brutal, all this. You guys are more than welcome to talk about that in the comments section down below. Um, there are two totally different sports in my eyes. This one's obviously brutal for, for different reasons than what American football is. So let's... Uh, Let's get ready to get started. You know, I'm interested to see what this is all about. So, without further ado, the most feared rugby team in the world. I love this. I love this. This is so awesome. The Hawka, I believe is how it's pronounced. Hmm. Now, I'm not too familiar with how the rules of rugby works. Um, I know scoring's a lot different than it is in American football. I'll just say that. Just with the way, I'm, I shouldn't say that, with the way the plays are designed. Lord. Wow. Wow. The impressiveness to scoop the ball up and as he's getting tackled, to fling it all the way back what looked 20-some yards just on a dime. I mean, what we would call lateral, I'm assuming it's what it's called here as well, lateral. Just 20 yards on a dime looks like right to his player. That's perfect. And he got to the backer player, the back player, to allow for blocking and stuff as well. That's. Mm. I said blocking. Are you allowed to block? I'm not sure. Like I said, I'm not sure on how the rules are. You know, I know in, in American football, we'd have guys running up there to, to hit them and get them half away for them. I don't know if that's how it works in rugby. So if I mistook or if I misspoke there, let me know. Good lord, the speed of that man. But here come the All Blacks again. Bowden Barrett runs into a big hole. Riding the tackles. And then throws all oh, what a six. Chase it a piece of play. Great Bowden Barrett. And Jacobs in profits with the try.
New Zealand kicking off. definitely going to go all the way. Okay, so are they required to touch the ball? That, like, okay, well, we, we obviously call it a touchdown in, in American football. Are they required to touch the ball down when they pass what we call the goal line? Or, you know, the, the I would assume you call it a goal line as well. Is that why they all slide? Or the one clip I seen where the dude, like, reaches over and hits it on the ground, is, is that required to be able to touch down? Touch down? One thing's for sure, these guys are freak athletes. Okay, so they gotta touch it down, okay.
Sorry about that. My dog decided he wanted to get ready to start barking again like he has the last few videos we've done. So I needed to stop him. But let's get back to it. <clears throat> Intercepts. Yep. Perfect. Breaking tackles. Whitelock moves it on to Jacobson. Well, trouble early on here by Tom. Strength that these guys have, I swear. I was kind of confused on what was going on there, but... So you can kick the ball too? Too, but at the same time, it's not much different than us just dropping back and throwing it. I'm just going to go through. Wow. Okay, those dudes are freaks when it comes to being athletic. That is, There is no denying that. Um, and 
like I said at the beginning, you're going to make comparisons about this in football. Man, they're totally different sports. It looks like you're almost required in this to like wrap up and properly tackle. And big hits kind of just happen where in American football they just try to kill you. But of course now that when you try to when they when they try to hit you that hard, it just it draws a penalty. So I don't know. But that was very very interesting. I'm going to have to I'm gonna need to do a video, you know, figuring out the rules and exactly what all is allowed and and stuff in this because that was interesting. It's something I kind of want to dig a little bit more into. So, do me a favor. For one, comment your favorite team. Um, and also, is there just one team per country? Or is there a bunch of teams in the country that they have a league? And then, like, um, they pick the best players from that, those teams in the country, put them on a country-only team, kind of like how we do with soccer, and then play other teams in the world? Like, is that how it works? You know, Let me know what your favorite team is down below. Let me know if the All Blacks are really... The most feared and the best rugby team history wise of all time because I've heard that from you know lots of research and I've seen lots of excuse me videos and stuff on it I've seen that all over the place so that was interesting I, I thoroughly enjoyed that um, leave a like if you like the video um, comment you know like I said who your favorite team is if they really are the best team out there no biasness don't be biased about it my favorite team in college football is a high state we're not very good this year, and Alabama is the greatest team ever. So I'm not very biased about them. Um, share the video with all your friends and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It helps me tremendously, and it's free for you. Thank you all so much for being here, and we'll see you on the next one.